We're going to uh, head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, and this viewer um, has an idea about another quarterback uh, that the Browns should bring in. So here's what I think we should do with Baker. Next year is his fifth year. That means that we are going in to his fifth year without him signed, which means we're basically taking a one-year gamble on Baker. So why not do this? Why not flip Baker for whatever we can get, a second or third round pick to Carolina, the Giants, uh, Commandos, or, or wherever we can, we can send them off to, and sign Jameis Winston, who is also a first round draft pick, also uh, super talented, but he's 6'4", can move, and has a really strong arm, and really seemed to be getting it last year with the Saints. So if you're going to take a chance on a one-year experiment, why not do it on the guy who's taller, more athletic, and maybe has the game slowing down for him rather than betting on a one-year all-in deal for Baker, who's only six feet tall and doesn't have the same athletic attributes that Jameis has. Because if, if the light has gone on for Winston, he stacks up a lot better with Burrow and Herbert and the other young guns uh, that are emerging uh, in the AFC North. Uh, hey, and, I'm, I'm, um, and again, we appreciate all the voicemails, and I understand the point. Um, I would not trade Baker to bring in Jameis Winston. If you want to bring in Jameis Winston to compete, that's one thing. Um, I would not walk away from Baker to go to Jameis. He's got as many questions about him as Baker does. You know, He's a couple years older, and you still don't know who he is. Yeah, that's very true. He's also coming up in ACL, which is a little different. Um, listen, I love Jameis Winston. I've loved Jameis Winston for a long time. I was a big Florida State fan when he was there and um, loved watching him play. I think he can I think he does have the talent to be a great NFL quarterback, and I think he kind of showed that last year. Um, I think the, the surgery helped him. The eye surgery, you know, sitting back behind Drew Brees has helped him. But I completely, completely disagree that he is athletically more gifted than Baker Mayfield. Um, Baker Mayfield might be shorter and might be not as I – may, I don't know about the speed, but – I mean, I, I would I would take Baker Mayfield's ability to escape escapability over Jameis Winston's. I mean, Jameis Winston, God bless him, is not he he's a little awkward and and everything he does. So I would say Baker Mayfield absolutely is more athletic um, than than Jameis Winston. And again, nothing against Jameis Winston. I think Jameis Winston would be a perfect backup, if, but I don't know if he'd be willing to do that. I think he could actually, I think he could actually go be a starter somewhere. So I hope that happens for him, but I think Jameis Winston and Baker Mayfield are, are in certainly in different categories. I, I know that Jameis is taller and I, that seems to be a, the crux of a lot of, um, you know, comments from fans. I don't think height is nearly as important as people think it is. Um, and that's coming from somebody who was a taller quarterback. So I don't know. I, I just think that Jameis Winston would, would probably get a starting job elsewhere. If I were a GM, I would give him a starting job. Um, but if I'm the GM of the Cleveland Browns, I don't know if I would, you know, bring him in because I think there would be a point where, you know, I, I, I don't know. I would bring him in, but I just think he could get a better option elsewhere. Yeah, I don't think it's a clear upgrade over Baker Mayfield. I think it's more of a no. lateral thing. Um, all right. The only player, the only player with more, the only player with more interceptions is. Jameis Winston. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of the same issues that, that you're concerned about. 